So on that Saturday morning, walk me through what happened. So I don't remember. Like I said, I was under the influence of alcohol. I just ended up at his place. And the only pictures that I have in my head would be getting hurt in my hand. And after that, I just ended up in his room, opening the room. And then he charged at me, screaming. And since, since he was charging at me and screaming, I wasn't gonna allow for him to get close to me because otherwise he would have taken the gun away from me and possibly killed me. Why did you have a gun on you? Um, so, like I said, I don't remember much of my actions, but that gun was legally mine and I always had it in the back of my car, in my trunk. Why did you choose to go to his, their house that night? I didn't. Like I said, I was under the influence and I didn't have any, any like intent or any like actions. Like I didn't voluntarily do any of this. Are you, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Are you telling, then what happened after that? I mean, he charged at you. What happened after that? After that, I just didn't let him get close to me and I just started firing and it was dark and once I emptied the clip, I turned on the lights and then I seen him on the floor and then he said, you did good son. And after that, I seen him suffering and then and I just stopped his suffering. You shot him some more? Yes ma'am. Why did you shoot your stepmother? She was in the crossfire. I didn't have any intentions to do with her. What is your thoughts about, so are you saying that the alcohol made you do it? I, like I said, I didn't voluntarily do any of this. God you didn't knows, mean? God knows that I didn't do this voluntarily. When did you come to realize what you did? Well, like I said, I remember like pictures, like in my images in my head. And I was like living the moment, like picture by picture. And I was just like seeing, like opening my eyes. What, pic what were those pictures? Like I said, the first ones was getting cut in my hand, jumping the fence, and after that was going to the room and just seeing my father in the ground. And all of that was just images that got stuck to my mind. How many shots would you say you fired? I had two clips of 10. Two clips of 10, so 20 shots. And you're saying your, your dad was not on the bed when you went into the room? It was all dark, and then he, I just heard him charging at me and screaming. And I was afraid that he would take the gun away from me. And hurt you? Yes. That's what you were afraid of. So you're saying you had no intention of going there, so you can't even tell me why you went there? No, I had no intentions of going there. But you mentioned something about the was was it, anger? I was under the influence of alcohol and the fact that I had this knowledge that he was sexually abusing her for more than five years. It got to me. How are you feeling about the whole thing now? Well, I regret drinking that night. And that's, that's all I feel. What about the fact that their mom, your dad and your stepmom are dead? Um, I mean, I feel bad for the people that love them. But like I said, I didn't voluntarily do this, and God knows. When you say you didn't voluntarily do this, you're blaming the drinking, right? I was under the, the influence and the anger, and then it just took over my mind and my actions. Why did you go on Facebook Live? I didn't. It was just from being under the influence. Maybe I was just trying to say goodbye to my family. What do you mean goodbye? Just like... Just to know that that was gonna be the last time that they maybe you wouldn't see me. It was just like a way for them to tell them that this happened and to not worry about me. Oh, uh, you mean the Facebook Live? Yes. Just the fact that this what 
this is what happened, and then I'm probably going to end up in jail. You knew you were going to end up in jail? Most likely. And then that's why I was just saying bye. But like I said, I was under the influence. I don't remember. I don't remember anything about the video. But do you remember going on Facebook Live? I just have like a, it's like a small picture that I might have like used my phone, but not anything that I said, said, no, not at all. Um, in the video you were, I mean I saw, I didn't see the whole thing, you were almost, I don't know, you were smiling and mm -hmm. um, just saying stuff. You don't recall any of that? No. Are you sorry for what you did? Of course. I, like I said, I didn't want to do this. This wasn't my plan. Where was your 11-year-old sister who was in the house? She was in the room. With them? Yes. Where was she the whole time? Maybe? She was like to the left of me. In her own bed? Did she, I mean, she got, um, I think she got out of the bed and then she just went to the left side. After the shooting started? Yes. Once I turned on the lights. Did you say anything to her? No. Not that I remember, no. Did she, did, she, did she say anything to you? She just handed her phone because she wanted to call the police and then helped her. You helped her call police? You don't recall her saying anything to you? No. She, so she handed her phone to you? She wanted me to help her. How did you break in, first of all? So. They said there's a video of me jumping the fence. Yes, but how did you get into the house? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, because they said you broke in. Mm -hmm. So you went to their bedroom. It was dark. Mm -hmm. And then you heard your... My but you father. Did, did you say anything when you went into the bedroom? No. Nothing? No. But you you heard your father getting up. He was um, screaming and then he was coming my way. What did he say? He was just screaming like, like a yell. Did he, do you think he knew it was you, since it was dark? I don't think so. You don't I mean, know the video? I don't think he knew who it was, until I turned on the lights. After you shot him? Yes. You started shooting when the lights were still off? Yes. And then you turned on the lights and he was still alive? He was on the ground, and then that's when he told me, you did good, son. Why do you think he said that? Because he knew why I was there. You mean... He knew what he did, and then he just knows that that action was... Did Yesenia say anything? No. She, did, was she awake? She looked awake. Okay, and, the, and your sister was on the bed with them but had... No, she was on her own bed. She has her own bed in the same room. Yes, and then once I turned on the light, she just moved out the bed and then she moved to the left side. Of you, n near you. To the left side, like closer to the, like more into the room. Okay, but she got up and she came to you. Uh, later on, like a few minutes later. Crying? She wasn't crying, she was just shocked and then she needed my help to get in contact with the emergency. She asked you? To help her out. Help her out, so who called 911? We both did. But she, was she the one that? She's the one that had the phone and and talk. talking to them, yes. What do you have to say to all the family, whether it be your own? I mean, they're all your own, but to your Senna's family, to your sister who was there, and to your dad's family. I like to say that I apologize. I didn't voluntarily do this. And um, our Heavenly Father knows this, that I didn't do this on purpose with an intent to kill my father, especially my sister's mom. Why well, had nothing to do with this. You're talking about your stepmom? Yes. What was your relationship like with your dad and your stepmom? With my father. Growing up, I didn't really have a good bond with him. He did his own thing. He left me to do my own thing as well. And then I was just locked up in the house. This was when he was still with your mom? No, with my stepmom. So he hadn't been living with you for a long time? Until I came here when I was seven. And then once I was seven, we started growing up with my father. 
So you did live with them? Yes. Where were you, li where were you living currently? Well, currently I was on vacation, and then I had just gone back, and then I was going to start school, and then I was going to start looking for a place. I didn't have like a set location. Do you live in San Francisco? Yes. Where did, where, where, what was your job? I mean, you were going to go to school. Where were you going to go to school? So I was going to school at um, City College. What were you hoping to do? So I was going to do my second semester in um, criminal justice. To do what? So I was in the process of trying to be a police officer. So my goal was always to be a sniper. And I became a sniper with the, with the Marines. Like I worked as a sniper for a year. And my goal was to join the SWAT team and be a sniper for them. How long were you in for in the Marines? For? Four years and a half. Four and a half years? So you came right out of high school, right? Yes. What high school did you go to? Burton High School. Burton? Philip Burton? Yes. So, I mean, I saw pictures on your Facebook of your dad. I mean, you even complimented him about, you know, basically setting, you know, setting you on the right track. Yes. I, I thank my father. He wasn't a good dad, but he taught me to do the right thing. So in your mind, was this the right thing, what you did on Saturday? Even my father said it was the right thing, even though I didn't intentionally do it. I didn't want to do that. Do you think it was the right thing? It wasn't the right thing. That's not what I wanted to do. What did you want to do? I didn't have anything planned. At some point, were you planning to confront him? Maybe. But you let that anger build. It just happened when I was under the influence, and it just got to me, and it took over my action that day, that night. Do you have a drinking problem? No. I only drink, like, special occasions. How much did you drink that night? I started off with beer, and then I drank a Ford Loco. And then just beer after that. It was, it was a lot though. You drank a lot of beer. It was it just a lot of liquor that just, to the point where I just blacked out. I don't remember the majority of the incident. 